Imagine a scenario where you're laying out a plan for a restaurant and you need to add more chairs to the tables you've drawn. To do this, you would need to copy the chair and then rotate the chair as separate commands each time, as shown here. However, with the Macro Advisor feature in AutoCAD 2023, AutoCAD is able to recognize this as a frequent command sequence and then alerts you to the availability of a relevant time-saving macro, in this case a macro called Copy Rotate Previous. Clicking View Suggested Macro in the pop-up notification will take you to the Insights tab of the new Command Macro palette, where you can see Copy Rotate Previous, the recommended macro, at the top. You'll also see a description of the macro as well as other potentially valuable macros listed here as well. Even though you only see three recommended macros listed here, the actual list of macros we have to draw upon is much longer. This list of macros was carefully curated by a subject matter expert alongside a machine learning algorithm and will continue to grow over time. That said, we only deliver the macros that will be relevant to you based on an understanding and analysis of how you individually use AutoCAD and therefore what macros you are most likely to need. Clicking See More Insights at the bottom of the Insights tab will take you to the My Insights page in the AutoCAD Start tab, where you can see all your other usage insights beyond just those related to the Macro Advisor. But returning to the Copy Rotate Previous macro, if you decide that it's relevant, you can save it to the Saved tab of the Command Macro palette. From the Save tab, if you want to run that macro, all you have to do is select the macro from the palette and select the chair. The macro will then allow you to stitch what was previously individual commands together into a single workflow, saving you valuable time and effort. From the Save tab, you can also edit the macro directly in the classic AutoCAD CUI as shown here. Or you can edit the macro directly from the Command Macro palette via the brand new Command Macro Editor dialog, where you can change the name, the description, add a custom image, or make edits to the macro syntax directly from this new dialog. Finally, from the Saved Macro palette, I can right-click a macro and add a saved macro to the ribbon, which gives me an alternate place to access all of my saved macros.